Tonight, stunning updates in the Haley Cummings disappearance. Cops reportedly rule out a stranger abduction, while at the same time speculating Haley may still be alive. That puts the focus on the bizarre cast of characters surrounding little Haley. The latest to go under the microscope, Misty's friend Nene. She was allegedly with Misty the day before Haley vanished. Nene is reportedly fresh out of jail and off suicide watch. So where does she fit into this messy soap opera? I'll have a breakdown of who's who. Then fireworks in Chris Brown's assault case. This photo that shocked the world showed a beat up Rihanna. It was leaked. And now Brown's high profile attorney Mark Garagos will reportedly try to use that leak to get the case thrown out. Could that really happen? Meantime, Rihanna's dad says Brown is old news. So has Rihanna really moved on? And is Jose Baez trying to pin Kaylee Anthony's death on somebody else? Why else would he want phone records from meter reader Roy Cron and the Orange County deputy who critics say may have missed finding the body? I'll have new insights into his extraordinary defense strategy that attempts to explain away Casey's outrageous behavior in the days after little Kaylee went missing. Plus, cops and child services descend on Octomom's house again after one kid reportedly showed up to school with a blood black eye and bite marks. Is Octomom losing control of her brood? I'll play the video and you be the judge. Issues starts now. Tonight, a firestorm of scandal erupts in Satsuma, Florida, the hometown of missing five-year-old Haley Cummings, as the investigation into the disappearance of this adorable child reaches a fever pitch in a sign of hope for little Haley, who went missing exactly 80 days ago. Cops have gone on the record to say they think she could still be alive. The chief of the major crimes department tells investigative journalist Art Harris they are not giving up on finding this child alive. But have they changed their focus since February 11th, the day after her devastating disappearance? This is what they said back then. All the world's a suspect right now. We have not excluded the world because we're focusing on a couple of family members or uh, persons who are uh, involved or related to the fam family, either by blood or marriage or friendship or whatever. However, in just the last couple of days, investigators have narrowed their focus. They now reportedly believe whoever took Haley was no stranger, no stranger to this family. Meanwhile, truth has become stranger than fiction in the small town where Haley's family lives, works, and apparently parties. The twists and turns in the lives of this close-knit group of friends and family under scrutiny tonight. There is the young woman known colorfully as Nene. She is party pals with Misty Crosland. She's the teenager who was watching Haley when she vanished. Nene sobbed hysterically as she was jailed earlier this week on drug charges. I didn't kill that baby. Well, I'm getting reports you trying to kill yourself, and I can't be watching it. Why is Nene crying? She is not a suspect in little Haley's disappearance. But she did get in deep when she said publicly that she was partying and doing drugs with 17-year-old Misty Croslin in the days before little Haley disappeared again on Misty's watch. Plus, more stunning developments tonight in a case so complex. We have had to create a flow chart slash family tree so you can follow the whole thing. We're going to show you that in a second. Straight out to my fantastic panel, Joanna Greenwald, criminal defense attorney. Thank you. Thomas Ruskin, a former NYPD detective. Beth Karras, correspondent for the Legal Network In Session. Curtis Sliwa, founder of The Guardian Angels, one of my heroes, and Art Harris, the investigative journalist who has broken a slew of news in this case, Art, dare we? That's the attorney for Haley's biological mom, Crystal Cummings. Thomas Ruskin, you're a former New York City police detective. Uh, there's a woman saying, okay, we've got people who saw little uh, Misty out, 17-year-old Misty out partying on the night that Haley disappeared. Misty's claimed she was home that night. Why haven't we heard from those people? That's, that's what the police have to do, and that's what the sheriff's office has to do. He says in this statement that they have inconsistencies. Why aren't they following up on those inconsistencies? For them to say that they're only focusing in now on the family members or friends of the family is ridiculous. You go in any avenue that the trail takes you and you follow that lead to the end and if you have holes in your dike you break those holes apart and you have the water flow and you'll find either 
you know, God forbid, the body, or you'll find the, uh, the person who did this horrendous crime. Well, you know, it's the investigative journalists and, and the bounty hunters right. and the attorneys who are digging all this up, but a lot of them say the cops knew all this, right, uh, Art? Jane, that's right. The fact that nobody has said that they've seen this child is highly unusual because the fact that you have a kid that's missing and is directly, I think, related to something that's come up with drugs and nobody's come forward, nobody. We have Amber Alerts already. We have all this technology. No one said anything. Nor have they come up with as far as if the child may not be alive anymore. Jane, if I was unusual. Jane, if I was running this investigation, what you'd do is you'd send your narcotics officers out. You'd make as many arrests as possible. There and you'd you try and turn those people around to well, try and well. get information against these people. And you lock them up and you put them in there and you squeeze them. As Curtis said, you, you basically pull them in and you interrogate them until they give up something. Well, you know, and that's Curtis what they were me. doing, Jane. They were interrogating. Forget that part. Listen, I don't want to indict this entire community because of the questionable behavior of a handful of people and we do not know what happened to Haley but I want to thank my excellent panel thank for their you. very controversial comments I don't necessarily agree with them all but uh, let's hope we find Haley alive that's the bottom line could Chris Brown's assault case get thrown out because of